happy to support the Fair Game Index as it represents another sensible step in the moves to protect our national game and the unique football pyramid in this country which is such an important part of so many communities in the UK. I agree that incentivising professional football clubs to operate in such a way that ensures that they focus on the four key criteria set out by Fair Game, financial sustainability, good governance, fan engagement uh, and in quality standards. I, I agree that it will be a major component of fixing a game that clearly needs to be fixed. And as I've said on, on so many occasions, it's a game that can't fix itself. The game has always sold for long term, for the short term, and only in the last few weeks. <coughs> the FA has considered selling the FA's international rights to the FA Cup to the Premier League. The Premier League, who have a clear intent to dumb down that competition. Absolutely ridiculous. The FA and the EFL don't represent me or Tramia Rovers when it comes to it. This is why we join Fair Game and as a lower league club have a voice in the debate about the governance of football. The announcement of the independent regulator in the King's speech is clearly a major step forward but there's still much more to do in influencing the scope and effectiveness of the regulator. There are many issues we all know, wages, the sclerotic voting system in the EFL, inadequate regulations around ownership, etc. And in my view, Fair Game has so far been effective in influencing the post-Tracy Crouch review debate. But we need to ensure that we all keep up the pressure, the day-to-day -day efforts that's required. As we know, the Premier League plays a long game. They like walking issues into the long grass and then shooting them. The index is a real opportunity to keep the debate going in the right direction. So please, give it some time, understand it, engage with it, promote it. And thank you for your time today and whomever you support, enjoy the coming season.